Hello, welcome back to my channel. So this video has been a long time coming. This is gonna be my first ever lookbook and I'm very excited to announce that I've partnered up with Thomas Sabo, who have very successfully made me bankrupt over the last year. To kick things off, we're going for a really classy look. I've teamed up some Mother of Pearl cufflinks, Rebel at Heart watch, and this really elegant sterling silver bracelet. This outfit is going to be perfect for those business meetings, special occasions, or just when you want to really dress up. Just making those final last adjustments to finish off this outfit and then we're good to go. As you can see, we've kept a very navy colour palette and today's outfit we're rocking a three-piece suit which is very popular at the moment. The suit I picked up from Next and had it tailored. Having a suit that fits is extremely important because you could be wearing any outfit of clothing but if the fit's not right then you're not going to look the part. The overcoat I picked up from Reese last month and this is definitely going to be a staple piece of my wardrobe this winter. For this look, I selected a pair of polished black monk strap shoes from Roland Cartier. They're very affordable and extremely comfortable. I decided to complement these shoes with a black briefcase because it just balanced out the outfit nicely. I also added this Ted Baker scarf to give the outfit a really nice autumnal feel. So that finishes off our first outfit. Now let's move on to the next where it's going to be a lot more casual. So for our next look, as I said, we're going to be going really casual and I've opted for the two-tone Spirit Rebel collection watch from Thomas Sabo. And I'm going to be teaming this up with a stylish cuff and sterling silver bracelet. This duo works really well together, accompanied with some rings. At the moment, layering rings is one of my favourite things to do. To finish off my jewellery attire, I'm going to be accessorising with this sword pendant from Thomas Sabo. You may recognise this, as I know, I do wear this a hell of a lot. So this is the second look of today. It's a really casual laid back look, styling the ripped denim and a oatmeal overcoat from Reese. As you can see, the color palette I've opted for is very earthy and very neutral. I like to go for neutral sort of tones. I just find it really easy when I'm pairing up different outfits. It just makes your wardrobe more diverse. So yeah, that's why I'm often wearing very neutral colors. I thought I'd also mention that the ripped denims featured in this outfit weren't actually ripped when I purchased them. I literally just grabbed a pair of scissors, slit the hole and just, uh, yeah, had my wicked way of them. So that brings the second outfit to an end. It's probably my favourite day-to-day outfit at the moment, so I hope you lot enjoyed it too. Now onto the final look, which, of course, saving the best will last. We've had the smart look, we've had the casual, and now it's time for some street style. In my final look, I'm teaming up this stunning black and gold watch with a Skull Love Bridge bracelet. Just so you know, these bracelets can actually be engraved, so you can add a little personal message to your wrist attire. I'm keeping this outfit street with a Bowler Skins biker style jacket. It's going to have gold hardware to stay in line with my jewellery, my trusted Chelsea boots and a Burberry scarf. Again, keeping an eye on that colour palette, you cannot go wrong with those earthy tones. So this is the final look for my last outfit, but how insane is that skyline? So to summarise up this outfit, I am wearing some brown suede Marks & Spencer's Chelsea boots, some Zara jeans, a Topman t-shirt, Burberry scarf, Bowdy Skins jacket and some Thomas Sabo jewellery. So that brings this video to an end. I hope you enjoyed my first lookbook as much as I did filming it. I'll be leaving links to all the available products below and of course that includes the stunning pieces by Thomas Sabo. 
Let me know your favorite outfit in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.